Diversity Talks is a program supporting the professional community. Now come on in. Are you ready? Relax, come on in, have a few laughs, and enjoy today's program. I am your host, Joy St. Cyr, your business strategist. Hi, it's Joy St. Cyr, your host of Diversity Talks, and today we're going to take it on the street to talk about today's show topic, and let's see what everyone has to say about today's show topic. Do you believe in the power of networking? Yes, I do believe in the power of networking. I believe that your network is your net worth. How often do you attend networking events? Um, at least two to three times per month. How do you select a networking group? Um, I select the networking group based on what the group is offering and based on the members that's actually in the Do group. you give referrals to people in your network? Um, yes, I do. When it's appropriate, I give the appropriate um, referral. Do you enjoy networking? Yes, I do. Why do you enjoy networking? Well, being new to the area, uh, it helps you meet more people, uh, get to know everybody better, what kind of people they are in the area. So that, therefore, you believe there's a power into networking? Definitely, without a doubt. Referrals, uh, either way, get to know people better, understanding what they're thinking and you know, what kind of people they are. Have do you, you give referrals to people in your network? Yes, I do, all the time. Do you believe in the power of networking? I do. Um, for me, networking is a means to build relationships, um, and those relationships are really fundamental to building your business. People have to know who you are and trust you to do business with you. How often do you attend networking events? Um, at least two to three times per month. How often do you attend networking events? At least two or three times a week. Do you believe there's power into networking? Yes, I do. I enjoy networking. Uh, I'm new in this state, and I get started, and I, I'm loving it. Do you believe power, the power in networking? I absolutely believe in the power of networking. And why is that? Because when I first started my business, another business that I had, I started networking and I immediately got referrals and I had a good network of people which who I could refer to. Awesome, so how often do you go out to networking events? A minimum of two to three a week. I go very often. Do you attend the same networking events or do you go to different ones? Every once in a while I try a new one and I've discovered your group that I really love and once I find one that I feel you know, reaches my audience or just like-minded people, I tend to stick with them for a while. Do you do believe the power of networking? I certainly do. It's like one-on-one -on -one advertising. And what do you mean when you say one-on-one -on -one advertising? Networking allows you to speak to that person individually and you're presenting your persona, yourself, your business and what you're about and that's the ideal way of doing it. And how often do you attend networking events? Minimum once a week, at least once every other week, specifically ESE. Charlene, you've allowed the entrepreneurs supporting entrepreneurs to actually use in demand for its networking events. So therefore, I know you believe in support networking. But could you tell me in your own words, how do you believe that there is a power in networking? There's a great power in networking networking simply because it takes each one of us to make something happen. Um, networking for me is different businesses and organizations coming together to make a positive change in the community. That's, that's just my personal intake on it. So, Do you believe the power of networking? Oh, absolutely. And how do you use networking to help you build your business? Well, just uh, uh, getting contacts as to uh, different services that are available. Uh, I'm fairly new to the area, so um, I attend a, a few just so that I know um, I have resources as to what people do and, and uh, uh, you know, sources for my business. Okay. Do you believe the power of networking? Very strongly, I believe in the power of networking. It's the only way to do business. Welcome back to part two of the power of networking. Let's jump right into the discussion. I'm just curious, with you also hosting a show and so forth, we know that very often people look at the number of our connections. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious, what's your opinion in reference to that? Because it is essential, it's mm -hmm. needed for our business. So tell me. Well, for one, I would definitely say it's not, it's, like you said, it's not about the, the quality. I mean, the quantity is about the quality. So um, I can know a thousand people or you can know a thousand people, but those thousand people can be, you know, bums or they can be, no, seriously, you have to think about like, what, what can they really bring tell to Tell me the, how you really feel. <laughs> 
<laughs> what, what can they really bring to the table? Exactly. You know, and, exactly. And you have to really think about uh, think about that, especially in the, the industry, in the music industry or the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. People will come with all type of businesses. He's an entrepreneur starting up, and I pray that you do very well. Mm -hmm. But it's other people that don't have the mentorship that you're giving him, so they're just going all over the place. They don't have a plan. Mm -hmm. So for me, you know, just having a plan, researching, going on like you have to do your research as well, mm -hmm. and going on their profiles, looking to see what type of people they are, mm -hmm. what type of people they're you know they're in contact with. So it's just uh, for everything, networking, researching. It's definitely research for me. But when you are doing a segment, are mm -hmm. people looking to say one of the requirements is to have a large network? Because mm -hmm. it is kind of one of the requirements. It, it is a requirement. However, I, I do it case by case. Okay. So it's not like I have a, a, a variety or a, a overall mm -hmm. type of uh, response that I give them. I really look at everything case by case. Okay. You wanted to say something? Mary? Well, I was just going to say as far as numbers on the connections, mm -hmm. You can you can go down all kinds of rabbit holes and have all kinds of connections, mm -hmm. but if you don't have the quality and if you don't have the connections, and that you know sometimes I think that is so overrated. Mm -hmm. And you have people on LinkedIn that have you know 750, mm -hmm. and you're thinking, okay, let me see who they know, and mm -hmm. you start looking at them, and they're not the type of people that you would want to do business mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. And so you've got mm -hmm. to be mindful of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and and you know what? As a networker, you have to be mindful not to accept every invitation yes. Yes. that is yes. sent to you yes. because for yeah. that particular for, reason, exactly for that because reason. someone who's connected with you is yeah. going to go look to see who you connected and with. And then God people. forbid that someone yeah. who's writing profanity yeah. on their yes. page, I'm yeah. like, delete. <laughs> okay, because I think we've all had those. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've all had those that we've had to delete. Yes. Yeah. So it's really, but even though I do believe in quality over quantity, mm -hmm. there's also perception. Mm -hmm. And when you are trying to build certain types of businesses, mm -hmm. yeah. if people only see you have 50 fans mm -hmm. or 50 people who's connected in your network, mm -hmm. I'm not really running to connect with you because to me it says a lot. Yes, I'm not expecting for you to have a thousand connections, mm -hmm. but if you only have ten, it, it tells me maybe you're not serious, or you just started. You just start. Well, well sometimes it's 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 it matters on what your occupation is, though. Yes. So, for example, you'll never see judges on LinkedIn. You'll never see police officers on LinkedIn. You know, they can't project themselves in the public eye in that fashion because of the types of clients and people they deal with mm -hmm. you know so there are highly qualified and very interesting people out there in the community that you'll never find on some social media sites just by the but that's nature. different yeah but that's what I yeah. mean so it, it all kind of depends and so for example myself you know I'm in I'm a content developer much like you and so we're always looking for subscribers of some type mm -hmm. who we know will consume what we have and then they'll they'll slowly enter it into our our conversation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, some take longer than others yes some are right there with you mm -hmm. and so you know it, you know that's a different type but if someone is in an industry you know where they're really you know restricted whether it's by their job description or their corporate mandate you know as entrepreneurs we do what we want mm -hmm. you know but there are limitations that are held by some people mm -hmm. uh, and it's only when they need a job that all of a sudden <laughs> Yeah. There's attention <laughs> given to those kinds of things, but it's mm -hmm. it's it's one of those things. You know, I'm 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 always better with live, and the more live things you go <coughs> to, those are the ones that matter. Yeah, but you know what? I can't attend every live <laughs> networking <laughs> event. Well, also, it's the quality you know, ones. Yeah, it is. And it is. You have to choose which ones. Like she was saying, you mm -hmm. need to do the research. I mean, when I first started networking, that was part of my week, and I went to four to five events a week just to see what type was mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. And then after the first month, I'm like, drop, drop, <laughs> drop. Until I go now, I have three networking events that I attend each month. Mm -hmm. And so there are different kinds of networking events like you said the live ones are awesome mm -hmm. but you do have to incorporate everything else to be a well-rounded networker right. now before we start talking about other types of network but I just wanted to mention in reference yeah. to number of connections with um, Khalil right. is that you're a new entrepreneur right. so if I were someone who let's say I was an artist 
and I was looking for a record company, mm -hmm. uh, someone to help me build in my business. And I go and I see he only has 50 connections. I don't want, I'm not going to come after you. Now, I, there's a pro and con, I know. <laughs> Uh, I know that because she's like, oh, wait a minute. He might be able to dedicate a lot of time to me. No. <laughs> no, the, however, but I mean, overall, the big picture, mm -hmm. you might not be my first choice. So that's why you have to be mindful that you do have some type of connection. Of course, it has to be a valuable connection, but you have to understand the average consumer, when we're going entrepreneur to entrepreneur, we look at it different. But our consumers, they, they view it differently. The same way even for myself, coaching small business owners, if I only had 50 connections, believe me, they're not gonna ask me to be their coach. Right. But when they come to the ESC meetings and they say, okay, I can see 35 to 50 people, uh, she has the virtue, she has the television, show this is definitely somebody that people want to hear what she's sharing that means she could be a great coach for me right. so we have to look at it like you mentioned depending on the occupation the business that they have but I wanted to be mindful to no one really is going to run after someone with one or two connections yeah. You wanted to say something else in reference just, to that? <laughs> I was just going to say when you down his 50. I know. No. <laughs> I, know right? I don't even know how many he has. I have probably a little bit under 50, but in that 50. <laughs> <laughs> under that 50, wow. you'll see, and but you'll see DJs, that. producers, they're all the right people. It's not me yes, just yes, accepting, yes, yes. accepting. It's the right people that I that Exactly, I but I'm saying circle. you would have to still build <laughs> right. a connection. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I we'll be to take blast. <laughs> don't worry, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm so glad, glad that we are able to see the advantage and disadvantage opportunities in reference to networking. But we also have to understand with technology and so much that's going on, there's different methods of networking. Mm -hmm. you mentioned live. I actually host two virtual networking events, uh, diversity talks uh, on television, but we also have diversity talks virtual, which allows us to speak to people throughout the entire country. So I have listeners who tune in, and very often I'll say, okay, who's on the call, state your name, the name of your business, and your location. And that's powerful. Oh yeah. Because I yeah. share the download. So now when people are listening and let's say you make an intelligent recommendation or say something during the program, very often someone will email me and say, You know, I heard Luann's name but I don't have an email address. Can you give me an email address so I could connect with her? That would be no. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's also podcasts and LinkedIn and all the other social media uh, tools that's available. And one of my favorites is live virtual meetings. I, I love using that tool because it allows me to sit and speak with someone. It doesn't matter where you're located. I can share my screens. Uh, so I wanted you to kind of give me a little tidbit of your thoughts about other forms of networking, your experience. Do you think it really helps and so forth? Hmm. I believe that uh, social media, for me, in my career, it helps me tremendously. It helps me wind, like, really wind down people and get them out of the, the circle that I plan to use. Um, I say that with their profiles. It's so easy. People put on Facebook, I can see what type of language you're using. I can see what type of pictures you're posting. I can see your network mm -hmm. before I actually want to converse with you. So for me, social media, it's, uh, I like social media. I will go to a live event um, and that helps as well to get you, you know, uh, in front of people face-to-face -face eye contact that's you know really well um, when you're building your business but social media for me uh, like the Facebook the Twitters uh, just actually seeing their network seeing the numbers there it helps me before I actually step outside of my house I think everyone here well, oh, with the exception of the two and I've met through social media mm -hmm. yeah I have such a, mm -hmm. a quality network mm -hmm. and it started off Social using media. social media sure. and you're right is looking at the pictures mm -hmm. looking at the mm -hmm. language looking at the sharing <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's like oh, when I get to a meeting and I'm like oh yes. you're you're such and such hi nice oh you're Carlotta yeah, that's, oh, that's you the know? goal yes. yes that's the goal yeah it makes you feel like I'm famous or something like oh mm -hmm. hi mm -hmm. so that social media it, it, it helps tremendously I encourage anyone yeah. Yeah. to definitely get on there and make sure that your profiles are up to date mm -hmm. and appropriate mm -hmm. you know selling 
yourself. Don't use a, a another name. Use your full name, your mm. first and your last name. That's oh, very important. Teach. And <laughs> that's very important in networking. You know, you don't want to you, you use your stage name. You know, yes, and I'm getting on them because you know a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of people. Um, so, so yeah, you don't want to use your your stage name. You just definitely want to use your first and last name. It's very right. professional. So. I have something to say about that. You say first and last name, for example, I'm a I'm an independent artist. Mm -hmm. So I would use like, for example, like Twitter, or something like that. I use my stage name just because I'm trying to advertise myself as an artist. But it's all the time because you want people to know your artist name as well. Mm -hmm. People, because when, when you go perform, people want to sign you. They, they want somebody to perform. They're not going to look for Khalil Gonzalez. They're going to look for my stage name. You understand? Oh. There, something like this, professional. I understand a profe it's time to be professional, suit and tie, and it's time to be, you know, Working place, time for work, and time for play. And it, it, I think it depends on what you're trying to, uh, to to accomplish. You know, kind of as an artist, you have to be a certain way. As an entrepreneur, you have to be a certain mm -hmm. way. And you know, in the way that I use social media as, as an employer, you know, I, if I'm ha if I'm bringing somebody into my office for an interview, that's the first place that I go to right. is social media. And if I do see the pictures, the profanity, and you know mm -hmm. how they're uh, represented on uh, on social media, then that's a big turnoff. And I know I'm not going. I don't want to move forward with this person. Yeah, wow, there's just so much that I want us to go into more <laughs> into networking. I think we might even have to come back to the table and discuss this again at a future time. But overall, there's a power to networking. So the takeaway that I want everyone to understand that regardless what you're doing, whether you're a student, a mom, a dad, an entrepreneur, networking is essential. We didn't really get to go into the meat and potatoes <laughs> and to some of the other abs aspects of benefits of networking. But overall, I think you could understand there's a power. There's a power to networking. I want to thank everyone today for joining me today on Diversity Talks. And I look forward to connecting with you again in the future. Take it easy. It's Joyce, the host of Diversity Talks. Bye. <laughs> First, I just want to say welcome, welcome everyone. I'm Joy St. Cyr, the facilitator of the Entrepreneurs Supporting Entrepreneurs. Now, let me invite you to a live networking event, the Entrepreneurs Supporting Entrepreneurs. The Entrepreneurs Supporting Entrepreneurs is a network consisting of professionals looking to develop quality connections. We talked about networking. Networking allows you to meet new individuals, the ability to shake hands, exchange information, obtain business cards, and build your network. The key of networking is understanding the quality of your network. Now, when you go into a networking event, usually you will connect with the facilitator. I am the facil facilitator of the entrepreneurs supporting entrepreneurs. I greet every member. Our networking team has a leadership group. Those are individuals that have taken roles to help you as you 